finish off the show with this topic. It was brought up today. There was an interview that LeBron James had with some other guys. Um, And it was very interesting to me, if only because he said during the 2011 NBA lockout, he was training for the NFL. And Jerry Jones supposedly offered him a contract. Now, this was on the uh, the Going Deep podcast. Um, <laughs> and they, they said during the 2011 NBA lockdown, LeBron started training to be an NFL player. Jerry Jones sent him a contract. Imagine LeBron as a tight end MVP. Um, this is like, I, Jerry Jones, I, I could totally see this happening, by the way. Like, yeah. if, if it was any other owner, maybe not. I could see Jerry Jones offering LeBron James a contract because of the, the, the amount of merch, the amount of everything else that you could possibly sell. Like, this guy is well, worth I, hang on now. so much money. I, I, I fully believe that if LeBron James had one offseason and worked out and prepared to be a tight end, he could be a, in, a top three or four tight end in the league. Yeah. I, he's I that, think that level of athlete, okay, and he's got the size, he's got the speed, he would figure out the hands and the route running. He's that kind of a worker. He's that hard of a worker. Um, he he's he's able to do all the things that would make you an elite tight end. But it's also the easiest, it's like the least athletic position on the field overall. Yeah, it, it, I'm not saying it's these gotten, guys aren't athletes. No, no, no. I'm saying it, it's but they're gotten, not Jerry Rice and it, they're and they're not Barry Sanders. It's gotten okay? better. Over the the last what decade? Yes, I but guess. he is still he would be a better athlete than for, so just athlete wise, he is a better athlete than any tight end in the game right now. Agreed. No, Agreed. no question. Now, and it, and I don't know that it's close. No, I don't think but it is. Close. I think he would be a very good tight end. Okay, let's, let's like the only people you could compare him with would be wide receivers in the league. That's it. Yes, yes. I mean, Antonio um, Gates. Gates. Never played football in high school a day in his life. He was a basketball guy, but he wasn't good enough to play pro basketball. And somebody said, hey, let's get that big bastard on the football field. I bet he could box out, and I bet he could catch. uh, Literally, you just need him for red zone targets. Because all you do in red zone target is it's rebound. You just box out your guy and go up and get the ball. That's it. You're used to doing that your entire life. There's no doubt in my mind LeBron could do that. Yes. And he'd yes. be very good at it. And he's an incredible worker, so he would figure it out. I mean, football is not rocket science, okay? Yeah. It, it's oh, all about the time of the world. But we need to damper some of these things. While I think he would be a top three tight end in the league currently, right now, I, I don't know that all-time greatness is just given to anybody playing football, Okay. What, Doc what, what Rivers, it, yeah, there you go. Bring it up. A guy that I respect and appreciate, won my Celtics the title, is is showing the foolery of, of some of these guys that idol worship LeBron. Okay. I quote I believe I really believe that if LeBron James had played football, he may have been the greatest football player to ever play. Really? Really? You think a tight end would be the greatest football player to ever play? We think he would be better than Randy Moss or Jerry Rice because that's who, at the position he's going to play, he's going to have to be better than. Because yeah. I don't know if that's happening. T.O., I don't think so. No. I just I, don't. I, I don't. I don't believe that, that he would be the greatest ever. Now, when you initially asked me just right off the – I said – yeah, I could, I could maybe see that. But when you put it in that context, like it, the greatest football players ever are widely regarded as receivers and quarterbacks, and more so quarterbacks than anything else. Well, and running back. J- Jim Brown is thought of as the greatest football player of all time until yeah. modern times. It's, it's guys that have Jerry the ball Ryan, in their the hands The conversation right now for greatest football player of all time is Tom Brady, Jim Brown, um, uh, Jerry Rice. That's that's the list. And they all three did something so different, it's really hard to say what this guy did 
was so much better than what this guy did because they just don't do the same thing. Well, the, the truth might be that the greatest football player ever was actually a lineman and you just didn't pay attention. You know, well, if that's the case, it's Joe Thomas. And I do yeah. believe that, by the way. I think he's in that conversation 100%. Yeah, We've no. never seen an offensive lineman be anywhere close. I mean, the separation between him and the next best offensive lineman of all time is is uh, is Jerry Rice and the receivers. I yeah. mean, it's it's a chasm pretty big. So, And then we even get into defense because, for some reason, we just never even consider defense – I, I, when we're talking about the greatest of all time, but I'm I'm sure now a little, little disgraced, maybe, you know, me too movement can't really talk about him, but Lawrence Taylor going to have something to say about that. Yeah. Oh, I agree. That, that's actually, let's, uh, let's jump into the comments to, uh, to close out the show today. Um, because I know you got to get out here in like six minutes. Um, let's see, Matt said he can't flop that much in football. Uh, yeah, I think I think he's still big enough to be able to do that. He flops because he can he can get calls. Um, I, I do as much as I shit on LeBron. That that's part of the game today. Yeah, I don't like it. I really hate it, and I want to discredit him for it. But if he played football, they don't flop in football. He wouldn't yeah. flop. Agreed. Uh, Jason uh, Ben said Jason Witten was there. Uh, Michael said LeBron is doing about anything possible to get attention at this point. Speaking of too sensitive, he's been trying to get attention since the last dance was televised. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, of, of course he is. And, and can you blame him? I mean, my goodness. Uh, Matt, well, yeah, I, mean, I can blame him. Why does he have to have attention 24-7, 365? Yeah, he got asked to go on this podcast. Like, I, I ain't worried oh, about bullshit. that. Bullshit. He, no, no. He gets asked to do a million things a day. He does what he wants to do that gets him attention. Uh, agreed. Uh, Matt said one crossing pattern and his knees are taken out uh, being six foot nine. Oh, I yeah, don't but there's a lot that. of big Gronk, dudes. They tried like, to take Gronk's knees out his entire career, and they never did. Never. He broke his back, he broke his forearm, broke his collarbone a lot, but he never got his knees taken out, and they tried every game. You damn Steelers, the dirtiest team in the league. They tried every year. Couldn't do it. Damian Estrada said, there. LeBron is trying so hard to be like MJ, first Space Jam, now leaving basketball for another sport. What's next, Hall of Fame cry speech? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah you know he's going to do that. Uh, MMA Buds jumps in for the first time. Fellas, how are y'all holding the uh, the stay at home? Are your states open? Uh, yes, we're in yeah, Mississippi, no, we're Mississippi, Tennessee. Tennessee. We're, we're pretty open. Yeah, we're pretty open. Um, and we're we're fine. I mean, obviously, we can do the show every day, so we're feeling all right. Uh, Michael said Gates was built different than LeBron. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, LeBron's built yeah, different but, than anybody. But I, like Gates, yeah, Gates is fatter than LeBron, but he ain't, he ain't taller than him. He ain't bigger than him. He's yeah. just fatter. He had a lot more weight on him. Yeah. Um, MMA Bud said, will NCAA and NFL have full capacity crowds next year? Uh, not at first and probably not for the entire season. That's just a guess. Just a guess. The Brown Yeti said, started early today. Yep, yep, we got some stuff scheduled for this afternoon. Yeah, Can't. it's my fault. I got a hard out. I got a job I got to get hey, to. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, let's see. Michael said, uh, MMA Buds, I'm in Cali and it's hit or miss. Going stir crazy though. Um, Matt said, how fast is he? He may have the endurance to run up and down the court, but he would... Uh, he would be having to hit top speed more consistently running routes. But hang on. His top speed, I assure you, is light years. Far, and I, this is probably going to be a presidential statement than Travis Kelsey or, 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 or Rob Gronkowski. Okay? I know they're white. I just assume they're a lot slower than him at top speed. I just, yeah. I, I might be way wrong on that, but I think his top speed blows them away three, four times. I'd, I'd, be, willing, I'd be willing to bet that. Yeah, Not close. You're right. I, know, I know that people are going to say that's a racial thing, but I just assume LeBron James is a lot faster than Rob Gronkowski, who happens to be the greatest tight end that we've ever seen. Yes. Uh, ben said, Larry Little, uh, best lineman. Tony Baselli uh, from Matt. Damian Estrada. Wait, so y'all saying LT's not the GOAT? Uh, oh, I didn't say LT's not the GOAT. I did not say that. He's just not widely considered it because he didn't it's have the ball. It's just really hard to control. It's just hard to judge a linebacker and a quarterback and a receiver man yeah the game is so different football is one that you're never going to be able to say this guy is the best of all time because everybody you can say he's the best at his position but that's it but even that's, then everybody that's does the measuring stops so you could say that he is the best pure passer Best pure no, passing quarterback know, or the best no, whatever. you can say a guy's the best at a position overall and it ain't close you you can ju- and now you can argue the differences. That's fine, yeah. but you can have a definitive opinion about who the best at a position is. Okay? Yeah, that, um, that's I think that's legal. No, I, I think, don't know I how to compare right. a quarterback and a linebacker. Michael said Tom Nalen is the best offensive lineman. 
Uh, Damien said, what about Khalil Mack? Uh, Mack's not there yet, but he, I mean, Mack, he's Mack, close. Mack ain't close to what LT was. No, Matt's, now, the rules were different, though. I would say that. The rules were a whole lot different back then. Uh, Joseph said, how are you going to out-jump LeBron? Uh, you're not. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. You, you do a fade route. You do whatever in the end zone. I mean, yeah, that's, that's but we got do. guys that could do that all day long, and and for some reason it just never always worked out. Larry yeah. Fitzgerald was the best leaper of anybody that I remember ever seeing, and I used to ask, why don't they just throw the ball up? They can't guard him up, and you, they, you just can't do that every play. Yeah, you got that right. Damian said, damn it, what about Walter Payton? Yeah, 100%. Like, there's a ton of fantastic players. Like, it, yeah. You know, there's no way that you'll ever be able to determine exactly who is the best. Uh, Matt said LT was a beast. I mean, he was high on coke, broke Theismann's uh, leg, and was still concerned about the man. Um, yeah, I mean, it's that's the way it goes. Well, just because you're on cocaine doesn't mean you're a narcissist. Michael, uh, to close this out, by the way, Mac, he said Mac still isn't the best in today's game. Von Miller is way better. I think right now that might be pretty close. Like, I don't think Von Miller is... is it's arguable. But yeah, that's real arguable. It's it's debatable. It, nobody, nobody, you can't say definitively their careers are still in 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 the in the process of being played out. Yeah, that's that's hey, but that's Michael's opinion, and who am I to argue with somebody's opinion? Cheers to that. We got our own opinions. We bring them every single day. Chris has got to get out of here. He's got to go knock some stuff out, and that is all good. We will be back. Uh, tomorrow with everything that's going on but uh make sure that you are subscribed make sure that you share out the show with your friends we appreciate all the guys jumping in you have been fantastic as we say every day you help drive the conversation and we could not appreciate you any more than we already do hopefully you guys feel that from the bottom of our hearts for now we're going to jump out we're going to let chris go do what he's got to do and i've got to handle some business as well so until then take care of yourselves take care of each other and we'll see you tomorrow Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.